In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the mesh concept out of the tight slots halfback weak formation in the Bengals playbook. Now, you can find this formation also in the Colts playbook. Doing a little mini scheme here out of, out of tight slots for you guys this week, and we're going to be talking about the mesh concept. We're actually going to be using the play uh, mesh spot uh, to run the mesh as it kind of already has it quasi uh, built into the play. You're only going to need to make one adjustment to make this play super effective. It's going to be able to attack man coverage and zone coverage. Now, if you want to learn how to get better at Madden in general, I do want to let you know about my Patreon if you're not a member yet. We'll would encourage you to consider joining it's only ten dollars to become a member and it'll get you access to all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including all of our updates to these ebooks we're dropping uh, our full tight slots halfback week ebook in there this week so if you want to become a member you'll get access to everything including uh that ebook so if you want to check that out link is in the description below but i did want to talk today about the mesh concept i love mesh mesh is probably my favorite play uh, my favorite concept year in and year out. And there's a really good way to run it out of this. It's kind of already quasi done for us. Literally all we're going to do is we're going to put this left receiver on an out route and we're just going to motion him to the left side. What this is going to do is it's going to pull flat zones out of the way and it's going to allow us to have a lot of space with this. So what you're going to see here is against man coverage, really these mesh routes are super effective and this post route to see Lim is also super effective. So we're just trying to, you know, again, just take advantage of these quick reads. You can, if you want to, go ahead and take Calvin and put him on a slant. Um, because we're playing so much man coverage, sometimes it's good to have these mesh routes go at kind of different depths because they're not going to be able to just put a 10-yard cloud on both sides, right? Because if they do that, then we can check down to our tight end drag. But if they're just playing standard man-to-man -man coverage, now these slants, these drags are super valuable, as you can see right here. Now, another thing that's really valuable uh, in this play against man coverage is this route to CD Lamb. This route is uh, pretty good. It Basically, if you put short and elite on it, it's going to help it kind of light up, get some separation over the middle. You're going to want to possession catch that. I find that that route is really the backbreaker route. Uh, in this formation specifically as it pertains to me and coverage and if you want to smart route it it can actually improve its effectiveness in my opinion against man because he's going to kind of take his cut a little bit faster which is going to allow him to beat man a little bit better so that's another little you know kind of tip with that now let's say that your opponent is wanting to you know kind of say okay well you're you're able to beat man coverage, so let's see how you do against zone. What we're going to do is the same exact setup. Um, and this is where I really like this slant route to Calvin Johnson. I'll come back to it in a second. But this is also where this wheel route is really good. As you see right here, it's going to get in the soft spot on the field, and they're really going to have to use her that route against zone. That was a cover three. I will show you what a cover four drop looks like, and then we'll show you uh, what a cover two looks like. But really the beauty of this is, you know, because we're motioning out this out route to Samuel, you could, if you want to, put him on a flat. But I like to do the motion out out route. You're going to see he's going to kind of just get in the soft spot against the, against the defense. And they're going to have to kind of respect the fact that you can throw something like that against him. Now, another thing that you're going to see is potentially you'll see like some baseline and press uh, dollar defenses. This is actually becoming very popular where you're getting these baseline press defenses. One of the things that you'll see with this is again, the running back, this is a vertical hook. Notice how the vertical hook goes to the drag and you can throw that wheel in behind it uh, with a high ball or just get the ball up to your receiver. Now, another thing that's really good to know about the cover two defense is if they're going to run any kind of cover two, even if they're running like 30 yard clouds, this is where I think this formation really, really shines because it can really handle zone drop defenses really, really well. What you're going to notice is this post route to CeeDee Lamb. He's going to cross the formation, and that deep half is going to kind of be focusing in on the running back wheel, and there you can put that route to CeeDee Lamb over the top. Now, one thing I do want to quickly just point out, if you put Samuel here on a, uh, on a streak and then you take your running back and let's say – um, you know, let's say you put him on, I mean, you can just leave him on this route. It's honestly fine. But this is honestly a little bit better for the situation I was just talking about. Whereas if you're getting the 30 yard clouds and you're getting some type of cover, heavy coverage defense, because the, the streak will just clear the zones out a little better. And it looks like it's going to be covered, but you're going to see he's going to come open late in the play. So it just gives you kind of another layer. Typically, if you're going to get a double Mabel defense this year, it's going to be some type of baseline 
uh, cover two and they're going to double flat out of it. So you're going to get something like this. In this case, um, this is also why I love to put a backside slant on this concept. And if you want to take the running back and put him on a streak, you could do that as well. But what you'll see here is that's why that right there is going to be a great read because if they go to user the post route on this play, then you're going to be able to check it down to the slant. Now, the only thing that I haven't covered yet is match coverage. I did want to spend just a few minutes um, talking about match coverage as it pertains to how this play is going to do really good at beating it. Uh, this this uh, slant is normally pretty good. Also, your running back route, of course, I threw it a little bit too late, uh, but your running back route can actually be a really, really, really good route um, for, for any kind of match defense. So if you have the running back route, your drag, your double drags are there for you, um, you know, right there, right there. But notice how my running back, if I highball that, I've got a chance to put it, you know, up and into kind of a soft spot uh, against the match defense. So that's something that you do want to kind of pay attention to. Uh, I'll show it to you this time with a flat to this receiver. But you'll see, see how you can kind of fit that in that little pocket. That is always going to be there for you, whether it be zone or match. A lot of people also, real quick, um, this is actually a really common thing. A lot of people, when they run match, they're going to hard flat because they want to, you know, for whatever reason, they're just wanting to hard flat so that they'll play the flats a little better, right? What you'll see on this play is if they do something like that, that could actually lead to this back being, you know, kind of wide open in the in the late seams. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. If they're really adjusting their match coverage, which I have seen some people really adjust a match, uh, a match defense this year, you want to at least be aware of the fact that your running back could be one of the best routes on the field. Because if they're just playing hard flats like that, you can throw that all day long, and the match coverage is never going to be able to really play it uh, that well. Now, another thing that you're going to be able to do against match coverage is let's say that you leave, um, you know, let's say that you leave this drag on Calvin. You'll see here these drag routes. They will actually outflank quarter flats really bad, as you can see right there, and you can actually attack that as well. So there's a lot that you have when it comes to you know the ability to beat man, the ability to beat zone, and certainly the ability to beat match in this formation. It's one of the reasons why I think tight slots is becoming uh, super popular in the meta, and if you start learning some of these principles, I think it's going to really improve your offense. Also, if you want to get my entire tight slots offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. We're going to be dropping the full ebook later this week for our members and members you also get access to all of our ebooks that we already have as well as all of our updates you're going to be able to merge this tight slots formation with our bunch ebook and some other stuff as well so make sure that you get in the patreon if you want to take your Madden game to the next level ten dollars gets you access to everything over there the link is in the description thanks for watching and we hope to see you guys over at the patreon page